75% off. How could you say no? <laughs> How could you say no? Hey, it's Shanae back with another video. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey, make sure you take a moment to stop and subscribe, like this video, and turn your bell notifications on so you know when I post. So today we are doing a Black Friday Cyber Monday collective haul. So these are all the things I treated myself to during the sales um, for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Even though they weren't all that, they still got me, okay? Like I still gave the people my money, so it just is what it is. I got some fashion and style stuff, some lifestyle stuff, kind of, sort of, and some beauty stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So um, I'm gonna start with lifestyle, and I guess maybe this, I don't know if this is considered lifestyle because this stuff is not for me, it's actually for Georgia. And if you know who Georgia is, you know that's my dog. Um, so I went on this website called Matt's Bone, and I think it's like, just a little like um a pet boutique for like dogs and cats they are always advertising to me on instagram and the stuff is so cute but it's kind of expensive so i never really shop on there for her but they were having like 25 percent off for black friday so i was just like let me take a little browse and see what i can get and i did pick up two things for her that i am just like in love with so the first thing i want to show you guys is this body spray I've been using body spray on Georgia since I got her. Um, my mama actually got one for her from Amazon. It's like a lavender scent. But this one is sweet pea and vanilla and it smells so good. I've been using it on her for the past couple days and I just really, really like it. Um, so it's long lasting for freshness. You can use it between baths, it deodorizes and it reduces their static. And I really like this because um, even though Georgia doesn't go outside a lot, I don't bathe her at home anymore, I used to. But what happened y'all, I was overdoing it and it was drying her skin out and she's hypoallergenic, she's not supposed to shed, but she was shedding as a result of me just like bathing her too much. So now I just heavily rely on the groomer um, and she goes once a month and I'll just kind of like clean her up here at home. Like I make sure her paws are clean, um, you know, her private parts are clean. I do her teeth and all that stuff, but as far as like a full bath and like, cut we go to the groomer child like I don't have time for that um but yes this smells really really good if you have a dog or a cat especially if they're like furry and fluffy I highly recommend like it smells so good next thing I got from her was a toy like and if y'all know if you're not new here you know I said I was never buying Georgia another toy but y'all I absolutely had to do it um because I recently purchased the um way what is this dry shampoo for myself? So when I saw this toy, it's like the, the pet version. I just had to, you know, get it for her. Well, not the pet version. It's the toy version of basically the shampoo that I have. And I always like getting Georgia like super cute chic toys whenever I can. Um, last year for Christmas, I got her these toys by Glossier when they did the um, collab with BarkBox. Matter of fact, let me show them to y'all because they are just so cute. <laughs> So these are the toys that I picked up for her last year for Christmas. And as you can see, she has completely destroyed both. So this is like the Glossier um, Bomb.com, like a little toy version of it. And this is like the boy brow. And this did come with like a wand, cause y'all know this is a brow product. So it has like a little spoolie toy situation. I don't know what Georgia did to these toys, but she just destroys everything. That's why I said I was never buying her another toy. But when I saw this, I was just like, you know what? I gave in and this is just something that I really like having for her because she's a girl dog and everybody says she acts like me which is interesting because she's a dog but I kind of know what they mean so I feel like this is right on brand for both of us and even though she just ruins toys I'm just not gonna let her play with these in fact I'm gonna get these repaired and hopefully I can find the other piece y'all she coming over here <laughs> hopefully I can find the other piece to this toy right here and um you know just get it restored because even if I don't let her play with these it's just nice it's just nice to have so let me uh let me get her situated I'll be right back <laughs> okay so that's kind of technically all for lifestyle so let's get into some beauty so um I shopped at Ulta on Black Friday I went in the store but I ended up ordering most of my stuff online just because the line in the store was literally wrapped around the building and no <laughs> just no 
The first thing I want to show you guys is my new foundation. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, and this is in the shade, I think it's pronounced Moria or Moria or something like that. But um, I actually used the same shade in the other formula. It's the soft matte, which is what I normally use. But now that it's like cold and drier, I wanted something a little more like dewy, glowy, and a little like of a, a, a lighter coverage um this is buildable i'm actually surprised that i never picked this up before because i do like really really light coverage makeup um and i love the finish of this like i'm truly surprised this is my first time getting this but i got ten dollars off the ulta because they had a coupon that you can use on the entire store including their prestige brand so i was really excited about that and i don't have on makeup today um but i really do like the finish of this formula i'll try to like I'll put it in a vlog or something like showing you guys like how it looks on me but I really really like this formula like a lot a lot I'm a NARS girl when it comes to foundation concealer like all of that face base foundation NARS is the one the next thing I picked up from um, Ulta was this little ca uh, camo concealer sponge by elf this is literally my favorite beauty blender sponge for a concealer I have been using this for about two years now and every time I see these I pick them up so I just wanted to replenish and get a new one because the the other three I have like you know I wash them and I replace them as needed but I just think it was time for a new one so while it was on sale why the heck not and then the last thing I picked up from Ulta was a new fragrance so I actually purchased this on Cyber Monday this is the La Vie Es Belle by Lancome and I love 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 this fragrance so on Black Friday I went to Ulta and I smelled it I like sprayed it on a piece of paper and I kept it with me all day to just kind of figure out if I like this smell or not and I actually couldn't get it off my mind and then Oh my goodness y'all on cyber monday all the lancome products were like either 25 percent off or 30 percent off this particular bottle is only a half an ounce and you guys know i tend to go for like smaller um bottles when it comes to perfume for one it saves space and also because i'm not a heavy sprayer and i just don't want like a, a ton of perfume um but this bottle was 39 dollars, and then i got 25 or 30 percent off on top of that so that's such a good deal um, I'm working on my fragrance collection and I don't want a lot of perfumes I just want like a good range of signature scents like an everyday a night a, a daytime um, something for like girls night something for like you know date night just signature fragrances for certain events I don't want like a whole bunch of perfume I just I just can't see myself with a whole bunch of perfume in fact this is my perfume tray right here behind me um, and she literally fits perfectly like right there without knocking something over my goodness this is this is the box it came in <laughs> but um yeah i this is what i have and i feel like i'm done um if you guys want like a perfume haul or video let me know i always feel like i don't have enough perfume to do those videos because when i watch those videos it be so many bottles of perfume i'd be like oh my gosh like <laughs> Clearly I'm doing something wrong, but I'm more than willing to still show you guys what I have because I love the fragrances that I have and outside of maybe three of them, three of them are new. The rest of them I've been using for like five plus years. Not that same bottle, just that particular fragrance has been my favorite fragrance for like for a while. So yeah, um, that's all I got from Ulta. The next thing I want to show you guys in beauty is my new blush that I am completely obsessed with. Like I love it, love it, love it. So this is a cream blush stick by Makeup by Mario. And um, when I was in Sephora on Black Friday, the girl that was helping me, she introduced me to this brand because I really wanted like a cream blush to go with like more creamy, um, dewier, like um, not foundation, but yeah, like my formulas, I'm trying to switch over to things that are more hydrating and creamy. So I felt like a cream blush was perfect. And she showed me this shade, it's called Earthy Pink and I felt in love y'all like i love how this twists up like that and then on the other end there's actually like an applicator brush and i love how thick this is i think the girls call this dense but i'm not sure i think this is dense but um it's textured it's super cute love this color it comes in a bunch of different shades and there's one other one that i'm interested in it's called dusty rose but um yeah, so these are sold at Sephora, but I actually ended up getting it off Makeup by Mario's website because Sephora was sold out in store and online. So that should tell you something. But his whole site was 25% off for Black Friday. So I did get a little discount on this. So I was excited about that. Haven't tried this yet um, other than the swatch from when I was in the store. But 
I just got a feeling that it's going to sit really well on top of this foundation just because they're both like creamy, glowy, you know, you know. And then the last thing up in beauty I want to show you is my new lip treatment oil by, I think it's pronounced Amy Cole or Ami Cole. But this is a black owned brand based in Harlem and I love, love, love this because over the summer, um, I was more more so using the Dior Lip Glow Oil, and I liked it, but it was just like giving me lip gloss vibes, and I wanted something that was a little more like nourishing that I could actually feel working. Um, and so I went to my story and I asked my friends on Instagram if they could rec um, recommend any like lip treatment oils or lip oils to me, and one of them that was recommended was this one by a lot of people. But my girl Amani, hey girl. Um, she was just like you really need to try it because she uses it. They have a bunch of products The brand itself is everything and the presentation like the box that my um, That this came in was just so super cute like I'll put a, um, a video of it on the screen here But it was so freaking cute and y'all this actually works like let me tell y'all I actually tried this for the first time yesterday and I filmed this same video on filming now I had to refilm it because this lip treatment oil is so good that it surfaces like all your dead skin and <laughs> you have to like exfoliate to get it off and then it just like renews and you have like a new soft set of lips and I was I used it in that video not knowing what it was doing and I noticed that it was like a white film around my mouth and I was just like what could that have possibly been but you know the more I <laughs> looked into it and did some research it's like sis that's dead skin like I need to exfoliate more um, I'm always using lip balm and I feel like I scrubbed my lips pretty well, but no, this brought my issues to the surface. So now I feel like my lips have completely been renewed and this has a really pretty shine on it. Like I highly recommend. Love the fact that this is brown. So it's perfect for melanated girls. I really, really like this and it's sold out right now, but I'll still link it in the description box because you can sign up for an alert once it's restocked. Um, yeah. Did I mention this is black owned? I think I did. I love their tagline. It's like, um, inspired by Senegal, made in Harlem. I'll put the exact words on the screen, but I just, I really love that. So get this. Gotta take a sip of water cause y'all know I'm trying to stay hydrated. Whew. Okay, so let's get into the fun stuff, which is the fashion. So I guess we can start right here with Skims. So Skims had a, a sale on Black Friday. Um, a lot of the girls were saying that the sale was really petty because she didn't even like restock all the good stuff. So this is what, uh, you know, Kimberly decided to give us for Black Friday. But anyway, so I'll start with these leggings right here. So this is from the Outdoor Basics collection. And I actually ordered the um, matching bralette to go with this, but I guess it went out of stock because they refunded me for it before my order even came. So now I think I want to return the leggings because I want a whole set. Like I don't just want these leggings, but I love this color. It's blue chalk. Um, and as y'all know, it just has like the Skims logo like right here across the waist. Um, super, super cute. When the Outdoor Basics collection dropped like earlier this year, I didn't quite gravitate towards it immediately. But then once I started seeing it on people like out in the open, I was like, oh, wow, that's actually really cute so i was glad that it went on sale and i was able to grab it on sale but unfortunately i don't have a top so yeah i want like a whole set so hopefully they let me return these leggings because i know a lot of the um the sale stuff was like final sale and i think those are final sale but i've been in contact with customer service so hopefully they let me like return the leggings or maybe just like exchange them for something else i don't know but next up is this little set right here y'all i have been dying to get this <laughs> not literally dying but y'all know what i mean this is from the cotton rib collection and this is in the shade heather gray so this is one of the seasonal colors i have this same set in black and then i have a purple one in um in purple too but it's like the the biker shorts instead of the full leggings but i really been on a like on the wait list for this and it finally came back in stock this was not on sale, but I knew if I didn't get it, I probably would never get the chance to get it again. That is so dramatic to say, but I just know how fast my size goes in certain things. And so, yeah, I had to just, I had to just get it. So this is super cute. Um, and then the last thing I got, these two items are from the Fits Everybody collection, which is crazy because I said I was never buying anything else from that collection. But what I've come to find is that it's actually the leggings that are just ill-fitting for some reason. Everything else in that collection is bomb. 
including the panties like I've heard amazing reviews about the panties from fits everybody but those leggings just uh, -uh. No, but um, this little one shoulder bralette in the color Moonstone, I had to have this. I was like, this is so freaking cute. I felt like it would go really well as just like, you know, a piece that you can layer under like a blazer, under like, you know, little cute sweaters and jackets, and it would be really cute with sweatpants. And this is like one of those colors that's cute all year round because it looks gray, but it's somewhere in between like gray and blue um really really pretty and i like bralettes a lot so i thought this was really cute to have and then the other thing i got is just this long sleeve shirt so i have a strategy when it comes to my skims and my skims wardrobe so tell me if this makes sense to y'all but i like to buy my skims based on collection and color so for instance i already have leggings this color boy uh not boy shorts biker uh, biker shorts this color a bralette this color and a tank top this color so i can mix and match all that stuff together same with like this gray like i'm probably gonna also get like a long sleeve gray shirt and maybe like the gray um biker shorts just so i can like mix and match pieces instead of just buying a whole bunch of skims because first of all skims is not cheap as we all know but a good strategy to like maximizing your skims wardrobe is just by like you know shopping within the same collection and within the same color family and i like the cotton rib collection the soft lounge collection i don't know the difference between the two of those because they are literally both cotton rib okay like literally they look exactly the same to me and then as far as like the tops the fits everybody tops i like them a lot like they fit really well so yeah that's all i picked up from skims um during the sale and then the next thing i picked up are these pants from local european that i am absolutely obsessed with y'all i've literally been waiting on these pants to come back in stock since like july <laughs> and um i didn't get like a black friday discount on these but i did use like my welcome 10 percent email so that was exciting but these are black cargo pants um i love cargo pants a lot like i have camo i have like a shade of gray a dark khaki and an olive i could definitely use a light khaki pair of cargo pants i need to look for some but local european is a black owned brand super super cute stuff always i got these in a size extra small small so this is what like the waist looks like it has a button fly and then it also has like drawstrings around the ankle so it can be like a tight fit on the ankle or you can leave it like straight leg loose like this um i'm very excited about these pants because they look good with heels they look good with slides and they look good with sneakers like i got plans for these pants okay like i really really do yeah next up i want to show you it's from champion which is interesting because i never really saw myself shopping at champion but this is what took me to champion let me just start there so kristen noel crowley owner of knc beauty y'all know i love her okay love her she did a collab with champion her um brand knc beauty and y'all this stuff is so freaking cute but i wanted to get something from the collab so i picked up this hoodie i think it's black but it kind of looks navy so i'm not sure but it just says champion across the top in these really pretty baby blue like bubble letters with little a little cherry a little sparkle pink hearts and like the little xoxo this is so me and what i love is that like around the wrist area right here it's like little rhinestones that say like knc i thought this was so freaking cute so i wanted to get on the site and make sure i got something from her collab and that's what led me to what i'm about to show you next <laughs> speaking of like these cargos and this hoodie would be super cute together with like I have a super cute pair of dunks I think would go well with that but this is what I picked up from champion that I'm actually kind of shocked by because what <laughs> but this is like a crew neck and a pair of matching sweatpants love gray sweats okay I actually recently messed up a, one of my favorite pair of gray sweats so I got to get them to my grandma so she can get the stain out I was eating seafood and like some of the butter like dropped on the pants and now it's just like a little tiny stain there but anyway um I got this crew neck and these sweatpants in silver gray and they're both like a boyfriend fit so they're oversized and I felt like this would be super cute for like the winter time um and what I love about having like matching sets is the fact that you can like split it up and wear it with other stuff. So of course, if I want, I can wear these with like jeans or like leggings or like biker shorts. And same with these sweatpants, like I'm gonna wear these sweatpants with everything. 
okay love how the bottom is like scrunched so it's super easy to like stack tube socks with sweatpants like this the only thing that's a little off to me is that there's like a pocket on the butt I don't normally have I don't know I don't own a pair of sweatpants with like pockets on the butt so tell me if that's like normal if I'm tripping but yeah um when did champion get so like I don't want to say expensive, but maybe pricey is a better term to use. Because I remember Champion being one of those brands that you kind of just like buy out of like Walmart. And like suddenly it's like this like high-end brand. <laughs> but um, got a sale on all three of these items. So that was exciting and definitely goes well with like my winter fall wardrobe. And the thing is like I know this is going to last. So I'm going to have this for years and years and years and years to come. <laughs> These next two items are from Zara and I'm excited because they're skirts. I've been wanting to um, expand my wardrobe into my more feminine, girly skirts and dresses again. So this is the first skirt that I picked up. It's like this long like satin skirt, but it has like a split with like some ruching on the side. And I kind of envision wearing this with like, I have these um, black and white snake print like knee high boots and I felt like that, uh, those boots, a black turtleneck in this skirt would be like a one like so cute together I can absolutely see it super 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 cute and then the other skirt that I picked up from a um I was about to say H&M from Zara is this little mini olive skirt and this fits me so well like I thought I was gonna have to have it altered but I don't have to have it altered at all it's like the perfect length it's not too short and it's not too long like it's short enough to be a mini but it's still tasteful if that makes sense um, I can see this paired with <laughs> literally everything heels sneakers and most definitely boots like that was the whole point of me getting this and this is one of those shades of green that goes with everything like it goes with white black gray pink even like red yeah this is one of those greens that goes with literally everything especially like cream y'all I have plans <laughs> like I said I got plans for these pants I got plans for this skirt so definitely excited about these two skirts next two items I want to show you are jackets yeah I had to get a jacket so this first one is literally my favorite this is from modern opulence which is a black owned boutique i love this little cropped um puffer jacket so much y'all like the color i love the shape of it you can actually drawstring the waist to like make it tighter but my favorite thing about this let me show you there is a thumb hole if you want this is so cute y'all when i opened this and i tried it on I immediately like wrote the owner and was like girl you ain't tell us these had thumb holes and she was like yeah girl and it's optional so you can either pull it up and just put your arm through regularly like that or you can pull it all the way down so it's kind of like wearing a glove if it's cold enough for that but I really love that it's just like so stylish to me and this came in two other colors black and like a um like a rust orange color it has like a tube neck I think that's what this is called but it looks so cute on and it fits so well and I can't wait for the temperature to allow me to actually wear it the next jacket I have is the one that I'm like still kind of on the fence about but it's from Aritzia so this is the super puff and this is the bomber style y'all it's falling all off the hanger at this point let me just take it off but um it's the bomber style which means that it's like tight around the wrist as well as like the waist and it's black because i really wanted like a black puffer but honestly it ain't cold enough for this jacket and it's really annoying me because i was just saying that if the temperatures don't drop by the end of the week i'm sending this jacket back because y'all know Aritzia is absolutely not cheap whatsoever. So this jacket is definitely like an investment. And I've always wanted one, but I'm a Florida girl. So I've never had a reason to buy a jacket this heavy duty before. Like I have another puffer jacket. It's from Uniqlo, but it's not as heavy as this. Like I think that one is, I think that one has goose feathers in it too. But y'all, this is goose down. Like she's a heavy girl. Like. It gotta be below 40 for me to be wearing a jacket this thick. But it's super, super cute, y'all. It fits really, really well. Um, and it's so crazy because I actually ordered this jacket in like a cropped version at first. But I don't have a torso. 
And um, when I tried it on, it looked like I was just wearing my little sister's jacket, like a child's jacket and like a large or something. It just wasn't cute. Not cute like this, like this is super cute on. But that other one, it just wasn't doing it. So I went and I opted for this one and she's cute. She can stay around if, uh, if it gets like colder, but she got, she got like two more weeks and she gotta go if, um, if it stays 70 degrees in Atlanta, cause absolutely not, just no. <laughs> No. So this next item I want to show you guys is actually something that I have attempted to purchase before and it did not go well, but this time it did. Okay, this time it did. <laughs> These are a pair of sunglasses by Dior and if you're not new here, you already know. The last time I tried to order some Dior sunglasses, they sent me uh, another pair. Like they didn't send me what I ordered and I thought that I had just given up on the sunglasses, but my girl Gabby, which you should be following, okay? Like she's always keeping me updated on all the designer items and sales and drops and launches and all that stuff. Um, she posted them again, they were on sale again, and I was like, you know what? At this point, this is an experiment. Let me order them again and see if they send me the right pair. And this time they sent me the right pair, so shout out to them for sending me the right pair of sunglasses. But these are the Dior Solite 2s. Oh, I die. I love these sunglasses. I have been wanting them since they dropped in 2019, but your girl did not have Dior sunglasses money in 2019. I still don't have it now, which brings me to this point. I got these on sale. So these sunglasses were 99. I'm looking in the mirror. That's why I'm looking over here. Um, I got these for 99, but they are originally like 279. Um, super, super cute. I got these off guilt.com. And Gilt is one of those like third party sites that allows you to purchase designer items below retail. So they're legit, I promise. Um, the first time I ordered from them, they, they did do me kind of dirty, y'all. They sent me the, the wrong sunglasses. And if you're interested in hearing about that story, that video would be listed in the description box and I'll put it in like the cards up here. But I'm excited because now I got the right sunglasses. So this summer, you will see me in these, especially because they're pink. Y'all know I love pink. Clearly, um, but I'm just really excited that I got the right pair this time because I, my little heart was crushed and I felt I felt so played last time. So shout out to Gabby for posting these again because now I got the right sunglasses. So another item marked off my wish list. <laughs> While we're on the topic of sunglasses, this is another pair that I want to show you guys that I recently got from this brand called Rachel Renee. So this is a black-owned brand that I discovered on TikTok, and these are the Charlie sunglasses. Um, they're so cute, y'all. My girl Stephanie has a pair that are similar to these, but they're Gucci, so these are technically dupes. But y'all, the lens is orange. Oh my goodness, like, look at how cute. This is so cute. Like, I just imagine this with like an all black look. Ugh, so adorable. Um, yeah, you can see my eyes through these. Y'all, I'm looking in the mirror. That's why I keep looking over here. You can see my eyes through these, which is one of my favorite things about sunglasses when you can see my eyes. And I love the fact that my lashes are not hitting the lens because I find that that happens often. Um, I do have long lashes, but they are not like super duper long. Like I don't have a volume set, so it's really no need for my lashes to be on the lens. But I don't have this that problem with these sunglasses. I don't have it with the Dior sunglasses either. And I generally don't have it with the Desi sunglasses, although there's one pair that I do always have that issue with. Um, I can't think of the name of that particular pair right now. Oh my goodness, but I have them in two colors. I have a green pair and a black pair and they're both like so close to my face that my lashes are always like smushed. <laughs> but yeah, super cute. I'll be sure to link these in the description box below. So definitely check this brand out. They have really, really cute glasses and sunglasses. So I got these shoes from a brand called, I think it's Soul Studios or Seal Studios. I'm not sure on how to pronounce it. So forgive me for butchering the name, but this is a black owned luxury footwear brand. And I was so excited about shopping with them because I've been eyeing shoes from this brand for a while, but I never bit the bullet and bought any. Um, and the pair that I did get, they're a little out of my element. Like I'm proud of myself for like stepping outside the box with these. So um, let me show you. They're silver. And y'all know I'm a gold girl, so I was actually really shocked that I picked up a pair of silver shoes, but look at how cute these are. Like, can y'all imagine these with the cargo pants and like a really cute top? So cute. 
Um, what I do want to point out about this shoe is that it is extremely padded. Like this is very comfortable and I'm glad I know that because y'all I tend to order things and I never open it. But as soon as these got here, I immediately tried them on because I just needed to know and they look really good on my foot. I love the pointed toe. I love that it's like perspex, this little clear strap across the toes and I love how it straps around the ankle. Like I'll put a picture of how it looks over here on the side of the screen. But um, really, really cute. And their Black Friday sale, y'all, was 75% off. How could you say no? <laughs> how could you say no? And this shoe comes also in like a caramel color. Um, it's actually on this paper right here. But I didn't get the caramel color because I don't need another like brown heel. I really need like a good nude. And the nude that I need, I haven't found it yet. So I'm, I'm going to just keep looking. Um, but yes. Really, really love these. I'll put them in the description box below. And definitely check out this brand because like I said, it's black owned luxury footwear. We love that. The last thing I want to show you guys is something that I have had on my wish list since last year. And if you watched my Thanksgiving vlog, then you know all day I was talking about wanting to find some boots. And I could not find the right pair. So I was like, you know what? I just got to splurge on the pair that I genuinely want. So let me get them. My goodness, y'all. So these are Chloe Betty rain boots. I'm already obsessed. Now I'm, I'm kind of upset because just a moment of transparency. Like I said, I did film this video originally yesterday, but I had a little, little malfunction. So I had to refilm it and I actually unboxed this with y'all and um it was like my initial reaction to the boot so this time it's not gonna be my initial reaction but i'm still excited because i love these boots y'all i got black do you see listen do you see this like i love 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 this boot um i wasn't sure if i wanted black or if i wanted like the more neutral like bone color but i'm actually glad i got black because I feel like these are a little more timeless for me and I can definitely wear these for years. This is the perfect boot. <laughs> like so, so cute. So I will say that all of the reviews that I read and watched about these um, were saying that you should size up and they were absolutely right. And I think that's just because these don't come in like half sizes. So I'm normally like a five and a half or a six when it comes to shoes. And um, I got these in a 37, which kind of translates to a six and a half. So they fit very well with like a sock on because you should be wearing socks with these anyway. So with the sock on in this boot is just like perfect. I cannot wait to wear these y'all. I originally wanted these. Well, I've been wanting these boots anyway because they're cute. They just cute. OK, but I wanted them um, for specifically for my trip to Seattle that I was supposed to go on with my best friend Whitney because y'all know it rains in Seattle. So you supposed to have some rain boots, but um, we ended up not going. But I still got the boots because I wanted them and um, I bought them on Black Friday from forward. I got 10 percent off the original price. However, 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 they are definitely on sale for like cheaper prices on sites like my Teresa and like Gilt. Um, I think Essence has them too on sale, but they're like other colors and they're like limited on sizes, which is the only reason why I think they're on Farfetch too. They're on Farfetch too. Um, and of course they're on like Chloe's website, but the only reason why I didn't get them from any of those sites is because my size was not available like at all. Um, in black. They had them in like the forest green color, but I wanted black. But anyway, y'all, I cannot wait to style these. Like, honestly, I can see this skirt with these boots some, some kind of way. Like, I'm going to make it work some kind of way because I really want to start like styling my clothes more because I tend to just like throw on sweatpants or I just throw on skims and some Yeezy slides. Like, that's enough and that's not enough for me anymore. I want to start dressing up again and dressing cute so yeah dang it <laughs> so yes y'all that is all i got for black friday cyber monday everything that i mentioned will be listed in the description box below let me know if you shopped on black friday let me know what you got tell me which of these items is your favorite anything you plan on buying anything you plan on you know adding to your wish list like talk to me y'all know how we talk in the comments just talk to me y'all i talk back but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know why I'm holding this water bottle like this. Probably because I'm about to take a big sip. But um, like I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.